Prophet وسلم, said, Laysa fil jannati ahsan. No one is going to be single in Jannah. But if it hasn't been decreed for you in this dunya, that doesn't make your worth any less. Asiya alayhi salam, a perfect woman, was married to the worst human being that ever walked the face of the earth, Fir'aun. Maryam alayhi salam, the greatest woman of her time and all time, never even got married. And there are many scholars in our ummah, the forerunners of our ummah, who never got married. And they used their time and their focus to become the legends of their time. In fact, the late Abdul Fatah Abu Ghudda rahimahullah wrote this amazing book called Al Ulama Al Uzzab Al Ladina Athru Al Ilm Al Zawaj. The scholars who were single that preferred their knowledge to marriage. And he lists 20 scholars in Islamic history who never got married. The likes of Imam Al Tabari rahimahullah and Imam Al Nawawi rahimahullah, Ibn Taymiyyah as the Makhshari, or even the famous Rabi Al Adawiyyah. May Allah be pleased with them all. Now, these scholars were not avoiding marriage. But they understood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not decree that for them. And many scholars said that the reason why they were able to achieve what they achieve is perhaps because they didn't have those families and instead they left behind their books as their children. And look what happened. All of their students became their kin through the sacred chain of knowledge. Now that doesn't mean it's either knowledge or marriage, or it's either worship or marriage, or it's either charity or marriage, or it's either volunteering or marriage. That means that just like other forms of risk, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has delayed it or denied it, it still opens you up to other forms of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and other chapters to your amazing story of divine decree. And it might be that that soulmate is still out there in this world. 